Hello and welcome back to another coffee tasting video. As you can see, we're doing this one in the great outdoors. So I hope you enjoy it. We'll see, uh, we'll see how it works out ultimately, but uh, we thought we'd switch it up for you this week and uh, just film outside one. Before we get started, make sure that you like, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you're alerted anytime we drop a new video, which is every Tuesday. Speaking of that, um, we had the patrons vote this week and they voted for a couple of coffees. A couple of coffees, why? Because you're gonna have today's video on Tuesday and another video on Friday. That's going to potentially carry out for the next two weeks. So it'll be Tuesday, Friday, and then the next week will be Tuesday, Friday also. Oh boy. Um, <laughs> the napkin saga continues. It's funny how many people picked up on it on the second <laughs> on the second week and we just had a great <laughs> a great time with that and a bunch of laughs so <laughs> I'm uh, I'm I'm glad we've gotten some of the anxiety over the napkin uh, and the spoon thing out of the way and uh, that <laughs> everybody had some good laughs. Remember this is another week where you can look for the uh, hidden word that'll be a word that does not fit at all in the sentence so be listening for that it can happen anytime multiple times a month so be looking forward to that continuing on from this uh this previous weekend also all the way through this week be looking for deals on nespresso machines and that type of stuff this should be one of the better weeks for uh, getting deals. Looking forward, it seems like if we move on into uh, like Black Friday, what used to be called Black, well, I think it is still Black Friday, but it's kind of like Black Friday weeks now. Um, moving on into December, I think you're not gonna find as good a deals as you're gonna find in these next week to two weeks. So kind of keep your eyes peeled. If you've been on the fence of buying one, this might be the time to pull the trigger and, and get yourself a new machine. Moving on, without further ado, we have this week's coffee voted on by the patrons, Pecan Biscotti Flavored Coffee. So let's take a look at what they have to say. Uh, this one is Variations Italia Pecan Biscotti Flavor. The Aromatic Profile, Variations Italia Pecan Biscotti Flavor features a beloved classic, nutty aroma and delicate spice note, sweet nougats of flavor, sip after sip, or sweet nuggets of flavors, sip after sip, not sure. And the flavors again are artificially flavored, so we'll see how that works out. Uh, we split roast the Arabica coffees in variations Italia pecan biscotti flavor. The Brazilian beans are roasted medium dark to quickly develop their sweetness. And then the second split gives virtual flavored coffee its velvety texture. We add pecan and biscotti flavor after the roasting. That sounds almost identical to the one we had last week. Are these going to be the same coffees with just different flavorings added? Cause I, that sounds an awful like that other one. Let's take a look at what they're doing here. Roastiness two, acidity one, bitterness one, and body two. Looks like it's gonna be a lighter cup of coffee. It is 7.7 .7 ounces, so our standard. All right, let's take a look at these pods. Oh, those are cool looking. That is pretty slick. It's almost a, yeah, almost a teal green with gold. Okay, here's your pod. Almost a teal green with like a little gold stripe and dots. Again, on the bottom, it says Variations Italia. But, oh, but if these were, uh, again, in the bottom of your drawer, 
unless you just remember what this color was and flavor was, you're not gonna know what this coffee is. Nutty and spicy notes, pecan biscotti, let's go brew a cup. Pecan biscotti, round one. Let's get this going. I'm actually gonna move the cup tray up a little bit. All right, this is done. Smelled good while it was brewing. Oh man, it smells like <laughs> um, I'm gonna tell you like right when I smelled it, I don't know if you guys have ever had it, but it's called a nutty buddy. And it's I think it's like a taffy, like a nutty taffy. That's what this smells like. It smells like a nutty buddy. I think that's what it's called. Yeah. I'm excited. Let's go give this a taste. All right, let's get our Napkin folded and oriented correctly. I'm gonna have to put some weight on it because we got wind going right now. And an airplane. Challenges of filming outdoor. All right, let's fold in just a little bit of the crema. Pecan, biscotti, let's give it a taste. Um, hmm. I don't know what, it's kind of really, you smell like a nutty flavor. It's got a little bit of a spice flavor, but I, I don't know what that, what did they say we were supposed to? Nutty aroma, which it definitely has, and a delicate spice note. It's, it's got a, Oh man, I don't know what's going on with these variations ones. Let me. It's got a little bit of a spice flavor to it. You smell the nutty flavor, the nutty notes. The coffee overall tastes okay. I, it's just that weird aftertaste. It's got, I know they say there's only an acidity of one, but it's got a very distinct, I don't know, like, uh, and maybe that's the spice and I just don't like it. Hopefully this rings with people. It has that taste of coffee when you sat at a mom and pop diner for way too long drinking out of those brown mugs and you had way too much of whatever that coffee is that they serve you at those places. And now you have that weird, almost heartburny taste left over in your mouth. That's kind of what this is. It's got a very, it's got a very odd spice aftertaste that reminds me almost of when you get heartburn from coffee. Uh, they're saying here, adding a dash of milk rounds out this coffee with harmonious sweetness. I think that's what they said last week. And uh, let's try it. Let's, uh, let's add some milk to this. Let's go round two. Let's go brew another cup. Round two, pecan biscotti. I'm gonna get this going. Let's get our milk going here. We got three ounces of milk. So we're gonna put that in, get that going on normal or just our lowest froth setting. All right, our 
coffee's ready. Let's get our milk in. Still smells like a nutty buddy. Let's go give it a taste. All right, let's give it just a little stir there. All right, pecan biscotti, three ounces of milk. Let's give it a taste. That's actually better. I really, this one was tough. My wife even said I was struggling with what I was tasting. This one gave me almost what felt like heartburn, like right in the middle of my throat. It was very bizarre how it felt afterwards as we transitioned to go make this cup. This one, it felt like heartburn in the middle of my throat, which is weird. But this, that's not bad. Wow. That's a big, 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 big change in taste. Hang on a minute. I think this is gonna benefit. There's a, a nice flavor profile here that I think is gonna be better with just a I'm gonna start with one pump and we'll work from there. That's not bad. Wow. For, <laughs> for initially, I really didn't care for that taste. That weird burn spice aftertaste. I love the smell of it. Smell was outstanding. That's pretty good. You get a nice, I would, they say velvety. I'll just say smooth. It's got a very smooth texture to it. The flavor had a nice sweetness to it. This just brought it out just a little bit more. That wonderful nutty smell. Yeah, that's not bad. <laughs> that one shocks me a little bit. I think, I wanna try one more thing real quick. I wanna try just a little bit of chocolate in it, and I, I don't wanna do much. My thoughts are uh, nuts and chocolate. Seems like something that would go together. That was probably, I'm gonna start with just a half a pump. That's not bad at all. Wow. Man, if you would have asked me if this was gonna turn around based on that first taste, there wouldn't have been a chance. This is pretty good. Not bad. All right. Let's take a look at what they're doing here. Uh, let's see, here we go. Variations, Italia, pecan, biscotti flavor, buck 25 a pod. We always have to go back to what was its primary and the primary was, it was, it was a cup of coffee. Uh, based on the cup of coffee, no. The, the smell was wonderful. Like I said, it smells like that taffy nutty buddy thing but the flavor was just kind of like a harsh diner, drank too much coffee and now you have heartburn flavor taste going on. It was weird. The spice honestly like hung out right in here and when you normally would have heartburn right here, that was the feeling it gave me but way up here. This however, which they do recommend putting it with milk. So we got to give it some credit there. This, you smell the nutty flavor. They talk about the sweetness. Yes, the sweetness came through. The spice has stepped way back, but it's still there. So it's got just a little bit of bite. With, with the milk, honestly, if you didn't have flavoring, 
I think with the milk, you'll be very happy. It had a smooth texture. It was sweet. With the one pump of sugar or sweetener, that, that was probably my favorite. It really tasted pretty good. I kind of thought that the chocolate might enhance it a little bit more. I'm gonna do it just a hair more. No. So it is, it just, I thought the chocolate might enhance it a little bit more, bringing out more of that nutty, chocolatey taste. It really didn't. So I think if you normally put milk with stuff, if you normally put milk with your coffee, three ounces of whole milk, I think you're gonna be very pleasantly surprised at the flavor of this. If you normal ha normally have milk and some sweetener, I think you're gonna be very happy with this. I think we'll narrow this one down to, it's a purchase. It's not off the chart purchase, but it's pretty good. Let's go three out of five pods for purchase. That kind of surprised me because at the start of this, I thought it was gonna be a pass. <laughs> Based on just this, it would be a pass if that helps you kind of gauge. If you're doing it with milk, like they suggest, it's a purchase. Without, it would definitely be a pass. That'll bring us to a close of another video. I thank you so much for your time. If there's something that you would like to see, drop that down in the comments. I'll do my best to get it out to you. That's for the original line or the virtual line of Nespresso. And to all the patrons that voted for uh, these coffees, thank you so much. We will have this coffee and then the other one that you voted for coming up on Friday. Everybody stay tuned for that one. You'll have a double, double videos for these next two weeks. That'll be great. Uh, well, maybe. <laughs> uh, and to all of my patrons, as your names go by here, I thank you so much. We picked up some extras again this week. I, you, thank you. That's what I'll say. I'll just say thank you. And for those of you that are sharing out the videos and promoting it on social media for me, thank you so much. We got a little ways to go to try to hit our goal at 10,000 by the end of the year. Here's the hoping. Please, if you haven't, share that out. Get, uh, get some extra subscribers to the channel. Uh, let's, uh, let's make this a great place. Until next, this Friday, have a great rest of your day.